Okay, so lately there's been a huge amount of speculation with the new CSGO Dreams and Nightmares competition about the next potential case being completely exposed and even the next CSGO operation as well. Now there's a lot here that's happening and I'm gonna take a couple of minutes here to quickly explain it in this video. I'm gonna try to keep it nice and short for you guys because I know a lot of you guys don't really like watching long videos where I'm just talking, but I figured I'd make this just to update you guys with what's been happening, but to also give you guys some insight on what we could potentially see here in the near future. I will quickly mention as well, I've recently partnered with five other YouTubers to bring you guys a $300 CSGO skin giveaway. If you guys would like to enter, simply just go to the Google form linked in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to all of us on YouTube and follow all of us on Twitter. And that's pretty much it. The giveaway does end on August 14th, 2021. So make sure you guys do enter as soon as possible if you are watching this video while the giveaway is still active. And with that all said, let's hop right into it. Now, I'm sure most of you guys are aware right now, but recently CSGO dropped their Dreams and Nightmares competition. It's basically a CSGO skin creation contest for creators to create skins that could potentially be put into the next CSGO case. On top of this too, they're basically gonna pick 10 of the best skins and give each one of those creators $100,000, which is pretty insane. Now, of course, there's a lot of hype over this right now, but one thing that happened when they did release this update is they also released all of the information that they need for that next CSGO case. They didn't directly say that they're releasing a case with all of this, but they released the information like they are releasing a case. You guys can see on screen here that when they did drop the CSGO Dreams and Nightmares competition, they also released a website that showed exactly what skins they needed to create a complete case. Now, like I said, they didn't make any direct announcement that there is going to be a case coming out called the Dreams and Nightmares case. But the way they're making this look right now, I'm like 99% sure that there is going to be a Dreams and Nightmares case coming out around the time this contest ends towards the end of October. Now, I'm not going to lie. We've never seen anything like this from CSGO or Valve ever before. This is the first time they've made a competition like this, let alone almost completely leaked their entire next case. Now, like I said, I'm like 99% sure this is the way it's going to go. The CSGO Dreams and Nightmares case will probably be the name of the next case and it will probably be released right after this contest ends. Now on top of this, there's also been a huge amount of speculation about basically Valve exposing their next operation with it being themed as a Dreams and Nightmares operation. Now there's two potential ways I could see this going right now. The first way is the CSGO Dreams and Nightmares competition is going to go on, it's going to go through its course, and it's going to end at the end of October. Once it ends, they'll probably release that Dreams and Nightmares case with all those community-made skins in it. Then, in a couple of months' time, we're probably going to see a brand new operation released towards the end of November or the beginning of December, exactly how Valve has done it over the past two years. Now, they could potentially do it this way, or they could be doing it this way as well. Again, as well, once the Dreams and Nightmares competition ends, they're basically going to build up this CSGO Dreams and Nightmares case with all of these community made skins but instead of releasing it right as the competition ends they would basically hold on to it and release it with an operation that comes out again at the end of november or beginning of december hence the speculation around the dreams and nightmares csgo operation basically what this would mean is that we not only get a brand new operation but we get a brand new case towards the end of 2021 instead of right now now i'll be quite honest i'd probably put my money on that second option that i just described there where they're gonna save that case and release it with a themed operation Operation, maybe a dreams and nightmares themed operation. That's where I would be putting my money right now I'm pretty confident that that's probably what we're gonna end up seeing now again None of this information is legit. This is all me taking my best guesses here So honestly, they could do anything they want and I would really have no clue But my best guess right now is that this is what's gonna happen where they're gonna make this case with all of these community themed skins They're gonna kind of put all the final designs together finish up that case between the end of October all the way up to when they release the operation and then that's when we're gonna get access to all of this brand new content other than that right now there really isn't too much to discuss right now the csgo dreams and nightmares competition really did have a pretty major impact on the community like i said we've never seen anything like this before so i figured i'd go through and just quickly kind of sum up what's been happening what people have been talking about and pretty much my best guess of what's gonna happen anyway guys that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video if you guys did enjoy definitely make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe and if you do have any questions or comments for me definitely make sure you leave them down in the comment section below or hit me up on discord as well i would love to see what your guys' thoughts about this are so definitely drop them down below i want to take a look at them also a quick shout out goes to my two global elite channel members right now skinport and melly thank you guys so much for being amazing supporters of the channel and again with that all said thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video Peace.